Hey everyone, so today we're doing a cumulative gains chart in Tableau. Now I won't go into the, the theory and sort of the, the maths and statistics behind it all. I'll assume you already know all that. Uh, if not, there's heaps of videos and, and articles online about that. Um, but yeah, my main focus today is to show you how to implement it within Tableau, given that they don't currently have a sort of a function which does ROCs or, or gains charts or anything like that. So all you need to know is um, you, you need to sort of have a, a model which is predicting um, a binary class. So basically you've got your um, probabilities between zero and one, which says whether um, an event happened or not. So for that, you also need your actuals column or your, your labels or your um, target or whatever you want to call it. So I'll give you, um, I'll show you what the, the data is here. I'll just import it first. So, um, yeah, open up your Tableau and then in data, new data source, we're going to go down to more because I've got a CSV and we're simply going to in import this actual versus predicted file, which as you can see here, we've got the, the actuals, which is either a zero or one. So it, the event did happen or not and the probability. So what the, the model guessed happened. Now, what we will need to do um, with, with the cumulative gains chart is it's, all your data is ordered um, based on the probability. So from the highest probability, so you know the 90s or, or one or whatever it is, all the way down to zero, um, you, you order the probabilities and then you put everything into a decile. So that is a bin with, that is in sort of like 10% chunks. So all your data, then take 10% slices and then um, you know the, the highest uh, probabilities will be in the first bin the second lot of probabilities would be in the second bin and so on. Um, and, but again, Tableau doesn't have a function to do deciling. So there's just a little chunk of code, which I, I will share with you. Um, but for now, I'll just paste it into this um, worksheet if I just get it from here. So um, we're going to make a calculated field for the decile. So if we just click the down arrow here and click create calculated field, we're just going to call it decile and just paste this code in, which is essentially looking at the probability and working out if you know this um, each row belongs in um, which decile. So just click apply on there. And now that's going to be our x axis. So um, first, I'm just going to right click it and just convert it to a dimension and then drag it over here so that it um, appears. Um, just change that to line. So put decile back there. So there we go. So we've got 10 deciles. So um, that's the x axis. And that's all we need to do with the probabilities. Um, everything from here on in will be based on the actuals because that's what a cumulative gain chart is doing. It's looking at how many of the actuals did you capture in each decile. So if we drag our actuals up into the um, rows part here. Uh, obviously, that isn't a cumulative gains chart. If anything, it looks like the inverse of one. Um, so we that's because the Tableau default um, aggregating function is kicked in, which is sum. So we're just going to change that. So if we just um, click the down arrow here and add a table calculation, um, now again, it's gone to another sort of default table calculation. We're not going to be using that. If you click the down arrow here and click running total. So running total similar to cumul cumulative. So um, that's where that's why it's called a cumulative gains chart. It's um, how much it's sort of gaining over time. So hence why we're using a running total. Um, so we can see here it's sort of it, it looks like a cumulative gains chart. But the problem is our y axis is off. Um, it, it's no longer showing sort of percentages like a gains chart should, it's actually just the raw numbers. So the sum of, of each decile. So what we're going to do is just add a secondary calculation by clicking this box here. And um, the calculation type is going to be percent of total. And that's all you have to do. Click the X. And we now have our cumulative gains chart and we've got our percentages. So if we hover over the first one, it's saying that um, the first 10%, so the highest 10% um, of the probabilities is capturing 39.82% um, of the actuals across all of the data. 
And then that obviously goes up and up and up because it's cumulative and then it ends up being 100 as we expect. So um, that's your cumulative gains chart, but I'm not happy with this here not starting down at zero like you'd normally expect. Um, so we've just got to sort of do a little sort of hack just to make sure that that happens. Um, so there's two things you have to do, just update your data with one sort of dummy row as well as just um, changing that decile formula I showed earlier, um, changing that ever so slightly. So we'll first do the, um, the data. So if, um, let me just find my data source. Um, I'll just show you. So it's just, just in Excel. Um, oh, one sec. Uh, yep, yeah, this is the data that we're, we're playing with. Now I'm just going to right click here and add a row. Uh, so insert, and I'm just going to make it a zero. And I'm going to give this sort of a, a very unusual number, which is outside of the range, just so I can um, easily find it. So I'm just going to call that minus 999. You can do whatever you want. Probably don't give it a number that's within between zero and one, like similar to these probabilities, because um, it might sort of get lost amongst your data. So I've just gone with a really small number, so minus 999. So we'll save that. And then we will go back to Tableau. Now what I'm going to do is um, we refresh our data. So by right clicking our data source and clicking refresh, that will bring in that new row. Um, now it, it won't display here yet. Um, but what we're going to do is now edit our decile calculated field. So if we edit that, I'm just going to make a slight change. Um, so all I'm going to do is just add in one row, just to, just specifically to capture that minus 999. So in here, we're going to have, if the probability is equal to minus 999, then um, make that a decile of zero, which we don't really have a decile of zero, but it makes it the origin. Um, and just remember to change that original if to an else if. And that's it. So just click apply. And great, our cumulative gains chart is now starting at zero. Um, so yeah, everything from here on in is more just about aesthetics. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep on going. So this zero here, um, I. I personally don't like, I'd rather that not be there, but it needs to be there for our line. So what I'm gonna do is just right click it and go um, edit alias and did that work. Yep, and I'm just gonna make this space and click okay. So now our line's still there, but it's sort of hiding that there. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is add a reference line. So that's a, a diagonal line, um, which sort of makes it easier for the viewer to sort of see how good the curve is. If it, is it sort of flatlining across the diagonal or is it sort of the opposite? So the way that you do that is, um, again, there's no direct way to add a diagonal reference line in Tableau. Uh, there's various articles online, which I've sort of come across to, to set that up. So a way that you do that is the decile um, function we have here. I'm just going to right click it and I'm going to copy it and then just paste it. Now I'm going to rename it reference line and then I'm also going to click the down arrow and just change it to a measure uh, like that and then you just drag it up to the um, the bar here under rows. So not where the decile is, but put it next to the sum actual of the rows. So if we drag that up here, okay, so we're getting there. So we can see we've still got our gains chart here and we've got a diagonal line. We just need to get them on the same plot. The way you do that, your reference line, which you just dragged up here, you just click the down arrow and click dual axis. That's great, we've got that there. Now, um, I don't like this reference line here that doesn't really mean much to us at all. So if you um, just right click that and click show header, untick that, now that's gone. 
And then finally, the what I also don't like is the, the default color for the, the reference line is this bright orange, which kind of takes away from our curve here. So I always make my reference lines sort of have no color. So the way that you do that is um, your marks here, if you click the uh, sum reference line or whichever one sort of um, makes reference to your reference line and just take away this uh, measure name color here and then it'll go to gray. And that's pretty much it. Um, oh, one, one other thing is I try to make this sort of as square as possible. It's easier once you sort of do a dashboard. Um, but yeah, if you if it's not sort of perfectly square, it can sort of skew your um, your curve or make it sort of look flatter or more curvier than it should. So just try to keep that square. Um, but apart from that, um, yeah, that's your cumulative gains chart. So like I said, I'll, I'll give you a link to the, the decile code so you can make the deciles. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and um, yeah, I'll get to them when I can. Thanks a lot.